Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been about two months. Wow, time flies really, really freaking fast when you don't even realize it. Like, you'll be like, damn, it's been two months already. But I just want to thank everyone for coming back to my channel. I want to thank my old subscribers. I want to thank my new subscribers. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. I've seen some comments recently that were really, really encouraging to keep to get me keep going. So I'm definitely gonna keep going. I wanna let you guys know. Ooh, excuse me. I wanna let you guys know that I will be coming out with more girl chats. I feel like that was my most popular video. So I'm gonna be collaborating with I am Fonta. I'll probably leave her information down below. We did a few girl chats and things like that for her channel, but I'm definitely gonna be doing some more for my channel. Um, I have some really good subjects coming up, some really good content coming out. But in today's video, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial for work, something neutral, something natural, nothing over the top. Um, I learned that I'm not that extra, apparently, with my makeup. So I think it'll be great to show you guys how to do a neutral work look. So let's get into the video. So the first thing that I do, I do add coconut oil to my face to moisturize my face and my lips. Um, I feel like if you have dry skin underwear, it's like it shows through your makeup. So make sure you drink lots of water. I'm a big, I don't like water, honestly. So I'm big on water and lemon. So I drink a lot of water with lemon. Um, something else weird that I do when I do my makeup, I like to light a candle because, I don't know, it's just peaceful. It just makes the environment calm. So after you add whatever moisturizer to your face, you are going to go i go in with this becca um velvet primer you probably guys have seen it over and over literally in all of my videos so i add that to my face oh i thought i almost forgot the damn mirror come on so the first thing that i do is add the primer so you shake 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 okay, i got the makeup right in front of me so let's move this over. So you shake, 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 shake. I add, I don't know, my two fingers. I have a tendency of adding it right there. And then I put it in four spots. So that's how I do mine. First of all, you should put your hair up. So if my ladies with weaves and long hair, you should put your hair out the way. So I'm back. In the middle of the freaking video, I realized my shirt was going backwards. Like, <sighs> problems. But okay, so after you add the primer, you're going to go in and you're going to add... I like to add Blistex to moisturize my lips a little bit more. So after you do that... I like to go in, I've been using this black radiance in the color cashmere. Um, I like it. I really feel like it matches my color and it stays on. So what I do, I just rub it on my face like anywhere. So I do that. I do it one time like literally anywhere. So after you put one layer of the make two layers i guess you could say two scoops i don't know i like to go in one more time after it's blended out and just add a little bit more okay so after you blended out your makeup as you can see um i blended everything out i have fat cheeks you go around the cheeks down your neck top of your forehead make sure everything is blended blend it baby so after you blend it, I like to go in with, okay, so y'all gonna think I'm ghetto, but I got this from Dollar Tree. It's a sassy and chic. This is in the color, I wanna, I wanna say it was dark, but I had already bought it and I had no idea what to do with it. And I'm not a person who likes to waste my money, even if it is a dollar. So I learned that if I use this to put around 
Okay, my nose area, I put a few dots there. Because you can see it's like really light. Very, very light. I don't know if you guys can see it with the ring light. So I put it down the bridge of my nose and around my eyes. And it really gives me like a va va -voom when I take my pictures. So I just put it around here like that instead of wasting it. So you just put a few dots. It is from the dollar store, so you, sometimes you do have to pack it on. But I, like I said, when it comes to work, I try to be as simple as possible. Not too much, not too little. Um, this color is supposed to be for foundation, but like I said, I just added around my eye area. And it gives my eye area a little bit of a pop. Of course, naturally, when you're working, you're tired. Um, New York, you know, you have to deal with the trains and all the extra stress. So I feel like it makes my face look a little bit brighter, more welcoming. So I tend to put that around my eye area. As you can see, I have a little tribal thing going on right now. So you put it around there. Then you're going to take this blending, the same blending brush that you took for your foundation. And you're just going to rub that in. But make sure you focus just on the eye, the nose area. Don't go to the forehead, don't go to the nose, don't go to the chin. I personally don't do all of that. I just like to keep it in this area. So I tend to do this. Just keep it in this area. Make sure it's blended as much as you can. Naturally, of course, I'm looking in the mirror normally. But to give you guys an idea, just so you put on that... Um, foundation you can literally find it in your local Dollar Tree I like to put on this Maybelline mineral powder in the color nude yes this Maybelline yes Maybelline mineral powder I like to take a little bit of this put it on the top here not even a lot like the tiniest bit and then I take a sponge brush. Don't judge my sponge brush, y'all. And I like to put it around the eye area as well. So I do this. In here. Down the bridge of my nose. Just not a lot. Do not overpack it. Do not overdo it. <laughs> like I said, this is for work. So I'm going to close this. And then we're going to take, this is, I believe, a powder brush. I got it from BH Cosmetics, and I just fluff it out. Fluff it out. So after you added the tape to the edge of your eyes, you're going to go in with your... Um, concealer I have the Maybelline um, stick I've had it forever in the color ivory so I just take it so I'm gonna take the stick and I'm just gonna put a few dabs on my eyelid nothing serious doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't matter how much how little just throw it on there like such And then I like to go in with the same sponge brush and I like to use this part of the brush. I don't know why, it just makes me feel good about myself. I like this part and I just blend it in to the eye. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to add whatever makeup you're using. I feel like it gives it a MAC finish even when you don't have MAC, even if you're not using MAC. I have this I have this Cl Clinique palette. It's really small and tiny. It's super cute. So I'm going to start off with that palette first. And I'm going to go in with the lighter brown shade, which is right here. I'm not sure the name of it, but the name of this palette is Chocolate Chip um, Stay Matte. It's like a cute little on-the-go type of quick look. And like I said, I'm going in with this color. And I'm going to put it on the bottom of my lid so we're gonna start off right here so down here only 
See, it doesn't add too much to the eyes, but it definitely shows color. So I'm gonna go in about two, three times, packing that on. Just the bottom, like a straight line, that's it. Be a little messy. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with my Dream Catcher NYX palette. Um, I know this palette is super old, but it's like one of my favorites because it offers a lot of great nude options, especially for brown skin girls. So I'm gonna go in with this brush from, I got from Dollar Tree, which is from Wet n Wild. It's like the dollar, dollar brushes. And I'm gonna go in with this brown color at the end here. This, this brown color at the end here to go in my crease. So we're just gonna take a little bit of that color. And I like to start from the outside in, like that. I don't think you guys can see it, see? Outside in, a nice nude look. I like to put two, three layers, if I'm going to work, of everything. So outside in, outside in, and make sure you blend, baby, blend. I'm going to go in, which might be a little bold of me. I'm going to go in with this color right here. So I'm going to add that color, dab it one time down, and then I'm just going to go in on the top here. Not too, too much. Top. So I feel like this came out really bolder than I wanted it to. So I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to blend it out with that color that I use in the crease line. I'm just going to take a little bit of this color on top of that gold because i feel like the gold is a little too bright for me so i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna blend it out in with i honestly can't find my good eyeliner i'm not even gonna lie to you guys so i found this eyeliner from color Mate at dollar tree and it seems to be really good so far um it does have a few flake problems but i don't over put it or overpower it so I'm going to go in with this and I'm just going to do a light, nothing too crazy around the eye area. So this is how it should look with your eyeliner. Cute. I didn't do anything too crazy, nothing too wild. So after you put on your brush right here, and I'm not an eyebrows on fleek kind of check. I really don't know how to do it. So I like to take this Estee Lauder Signature Palette. Um, it's in the color, well, the palette is called Black Smoke. And I like to use this black color. I use that black color and I put it and I fill in my eyebrows with just a little bit of black. I also found another steal from Dollar Tree and everyone gets on me about my Dollar Tree obsession. But I absolutely love it and it's affordable. This... LA Colors Bronze. My goodness. It's literally my favorite, especially for African American women. Instead of giving you like a too strong look, it gives you a golden look, which is popping. So I like to take this color and I take the same brush and I like to dab and put it on my cheek area as a highlighter but it's a really light highlighter. But it can be super strong if you mix it. Coming, welcome to the company. Um, like I said, I'm not really eyebrows on fleek kind of trick, so. But other than that, this is the final look. So guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share, like, do all that good stuff. I'm definitely gonna come with another video right after this. I'm gonna do a workout.